Chasing the moon isn't an easy task, especially now that it's July and we've had a lot of thunderstorms here. Despite this, cultivating a connection with the moon can be simple, so I picked an afternoon to craft a moon bomb. Derivative of the witch's flying ointment, only safer and more modern I would say. This recipe will work to enhance the mind and ensnare the senses. Just kidding, I've already made that joke. But really, this balm works in two ways. One to relax the body, the other to open the mind. Historically, witches have used a variety of psychoactive plants for medicine or recreation. Plants such as hellebore, tatura, henbane, mandrake, and belladonna. All of which are poisonous and can be found in Hecate's garden, the mythical haven found through intense dream work. Knowing this, you can use the balm to connect with her, the moon goddess of old. Both mugwort and wormwood belong to the genus Artemisia, linking them to the syncretized goddess Artemis Diana, and are potent plants for connecting with lunar energy. Mugwort in particular is famous as a lunar herb, inducing lucid dreams upon the seeker. It's also a stimulant and a minagogue, encouraging a woman's monthly blood. I'm really enamored with this linkage of the magical and mundane, so I'm referencing books on both ends of the spectrum. I'm choosing to blend my Artemisia herbs with Skullcap and Lavender. This is a personal preference for me, as Mugwort and Wormwood in themselves are mild sedatives and analgesics. Each of the four herbs I've chosen work in calming either the body or the mind through pain relief or soothing the nervous system. Grinding the herbs is completely optional, but I love to do so while visualizing a specific intent. In truth, I would say that this is an intermediate recipe, but don't worry, I will have simpler recipes in the future that are more accessible for everybody. Before I can make the balm, I have to make the infused oil. So I'm covering my dried herbs in plant oil and letting them steep for a few hours on low heat. This is the quick way to make an herbal oil, and I'll admit I feared it wouldn't be as strong as the hiding them in a dark cupboard for six weeks method, but the end result is very potent. I heated them for about three hours and was really blown away by the gorgeous emerald green color of the oil after the herbs had worked their magic. Now to make a balm, I combine this oil with beeswax on low heat and let them melt together. I'm using about a 3 to 1 ratio of oil to beeswax. Feel free to add essential oils if you wish. I'm choosing not to mask the scent even though it's very bitter, but I think that scent has a very powerful effect on the mind, and the bitterness of this blend helps me to connect during ritual or meditation. I would use this blend scarcely, on a new or full moon, or during divination. Mugwort could be considered an herb of the High Priestess, useful in anything from reading tarot cards, to scrying, even keeping a dream journal. This balm is also a mild stimulant, so it encourages blood flow through the body, it's good at relieving mild muscle pain or cramps, another reason it could be called moon balm. Also, if I want to experiment with lucid dreaming, I'll use it on my pulse points a few hours before bed. So, take note of your discoveries. This moon balm is both medicine and magic, and our dreams want to tell us things. Even the most subtle glow of our elusive moon can illuminate the magic garden in our minds. I'm not a professional herbalist or a doctor, but I do want to add a friendly reminder to always be careful when you're working with new plants. 
I know that this recipe wasn't exactly inclusive for everyone, but I do hope to make um, easier ones in the future, so please stay tuned for that, and I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. Everyone stay safe, and I will see you all soon. So, goodbye for now.